Around 800,000 people in the UK live with dementia, of which Alzheimer's disease is the most common form. And until now, there has been very little to offer patients in the way of early intervention. Marco was a university lecturer and he loved that sort of work. He loved dealing with all the financial matters at home. He liked um, numbers and reading, lots of reading. Yeah, I think he was, he was a bon viveur as well. And that sort of gradually changed, I think, as his behaviour changed, really. He's not the person I chose to live my life with at all. I think my life is actually totally dominated by dementia. You know, it's, it's not, it doesn't take over one person's life, it takes over the person and whoever is caring for them. I think we, we got very little help. I remember asking at the memory loss clinic whether there was anything that we could give Marco to, to help. I didn't get the feeling that we were much in control. It was as, as if the disease had taken over Marco and it was just going to take its course. An innovation in dietary management being launched in the UK offers a new option. Suvenade, a new medical nutrition product, is the result of more than 10 years of research and clinical trials that show it could have positive effects for those diagnosed with early stage Alzheimer's disease. In Alzheimer's disease, there's an accumulation of different um, unwanted proteins in the brain which disrupt the function of the nerve cells. And the way nerve cells work is by communicating to each other through synapses. And these synapses are little outgrowths of the membrane of the cell which reach out to join with other cells. And they pass messages from one to the other through those membranes. And for the messages to pass, the membranes have to function. And for those membranes to function, they are made of proteins and fats and lipids which we need to take in from our diet. The governments are clearly aware of the, the problem of Alzheimer's disease and over the last few years it's, um, it's recognised it as being one of the major health issues that's facing uh, the UK because of the ageing population. Um, its strategy is to try and encourage people to come forward for diagnosis earlier and to encourage us as, as uh, clinicians to diagnose patients with Alzheimer's disease as early as we possibly can. And with Alzheimer's disease, there's always been that feeling that there isn't a lot we can do. What we also understand, of course, is that it's not all about drugs. I mean, some of the early diagnosis, the importance is so that you know what's wrong with you. But you can also do other things like um, exercise, we know, is very important to improve memories and, and make our brains function better. We know diet can have a part to play. So there, you know, there are many other factors that can be um, uh, utilised when you make an early diagnosis and the problem being as we get older is that we find it more difficult to take in the, the complex array of nutrients that are required for the brain to function. While there is growing evidence supporting the importance of nutrition in disease management, current practice and services are not meeting the needs of the majority of people in the early stages of Alzheimer's disease. A recent survey of specialists show that only a minority assess patients' nutritional status during the diagnosis of Alzheimer's disease. The results of the survey are really interesting. Most specialists understand the importance of giving some form of nutritional advice to their patients, yet only a third actively assess nutritional status of their patients. Now a unique 125 milliliter once a day drink is available over the counter from pharmacies, containing a unique combination of nutrients at levels difficult to achieve from diet alone. Offering potential good news for those who live with early Alzheimer's disease, their carers and families.